Hey guys, hope you're doing well. So I was thinking today about uh, maybe just pause the tutorial right now just because I want to uh, not teach you but show you uh, some stuff in the React stuff, uh, React world where people get really confused. And I think this is maybe the time right now just before we really push in the application way. So what I want you, what I want to show you today, it's uh, what is really children in React. What is so just here? What is the children in React? Uh, make a reusable component. I mean a real full reusable component, and use function for your value. So what I've done for this one, it's inside my route. I've created just for today, just because I don't want to break nothing. I just create a route here, line 15, where I have made a path just fun, and I have a component just fun, and I just import this one coming from here, and this is a stateless component where I just put some style right now, flex and all that stuff just for get my uh, just fun working. So this is more like a playground. So what I'm gonna show you is we're gonna just make three button with only one component and each one going to be fully reusable with a children inside so this is something people really confuse about so uh, <clears throat> first thing we're going to do it's here i'm going to create everything inside this in the same file so just for be easier for you so here i'm going to create another component called button in this one i'm going to uh, pass nothing just uh, an empty, uh, just a, an empty uh, argument. So here I'm gonna use a div, and inside this one I'm gonna just say hello. Perfect. Here, what I'm gonna do, it's inside my uh, just one. I'm gonna uh, delete the h one, and I'm gonna use my button. And I'm gonna say hello in this one. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna came right here inside and now you see my button called hello if I inspect this one right now look what gonna happen so if I go to react dev tool and I go to my button right here look at that I have a children right here called hello right here I use again hello but this is art code if I want to use it now I can use it as a prop so I can destruct it so now I can do children right here and change that for children and now look all is again the same because if I go back to my button I have a, a props called children so I can reuse it right there why is useful now because I can create three buttons and so uh, Bonjour, hello in French, and uh, just right now because I don't really know any other language. <laughs> so you see my hello, and now I have bonjour. If I go to my button here, I have a, one, I have a children hello, one, I have a bonjour, but this is only one item. I mean, so now with this one, we can create a fully reusable component. I mean, now what we can do is if some of you have already used uh, like React Bootstrap or something like that, or us like we use React Semantic, we're gonna do the same kind of pattern. So, here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create three buttons one gonna have small, one gonna be medium, and one gonna be large. After that, here, my div, I'm gonna put a style right inside that. Here I'm gonna put uh, a padding of 10 and a border of uh, one pick solid and black just for right now. So you're gonna see three kind of bottom small medium and large. Each of them are equal in size just medium because it takes better uh, more place. But if you look at this now what we're gonna do is I want to make it dynamically res uh, resize. Like if you use uh, bootstrap, something like that, you use, uh, like you can put large, something like that. So here what I'm gonna do, 
it's I'm gonna have a size not for the small but for the medium I'm gonna put a size medium and a size large after that I want to have another color for this one so I'm gonna pass another colors props and this one gonna be uh, yellow this one gonna be uh, red and this one gonna be blue if I do this right now nothing gonna happen because I don't pass enough stuff any stuff to my uh, component so here I'm gonna pass colors what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use backgrounds colors Oh, something wrong happened sorry I don't know what happened background colors right here and my background color gonna have the colors I just passed so if you look what happened right now if the finish the refresh sorry guys you see now I have my small medium and large because I use the props as a colors but now I want to change the size to be medium large so what we can do it's in, uh, in uh, JavaScript you can use function to pass value so here what I'm gonna do it's inside my style so I'm gonna just make it just better looking here I'm gonna have a, a, a width and I'm gonna create a, a, a function called check size where I'm gonna pass a size coming from here so now I need to pass it in my component and I'm gonna create this function cons check size figure size and here I'm gonna create a switch statement where I'm gonna pass the size inside this one I'm gonna have a case uh, oops sorry case large in this one I'm gonna return uh, 150 in case medium I'm gonna return uh, oops, sorry return 100 and by default so when I say nothing that's gonna be the, the small one I'm gonna return 50 now look what what happened You see now my small 50 width 100 width and 150 so if I go to my element just see here in HTML I have a width of 50 width of 100 width of 150 now so if I come back here so what I pen I pass medium as a size I pass large as a size here and now I destruct my size I inside the style I use width with check size with the size I pass in my check size is a function right there who check with the switch statement which size is and return a number who's gonna be the value and when I when I pass a, a number this number is gonna be the pixel of my width so that's why now you see 50 pixel 100 pixel and 150 pixel now what we can do it's inside my button now if I want to be fully visible I need to have a on click event because it's not a button if I don't have so I'm gonna have an on click here I'm gonna pass an alert and here I'm gonna say uh, small I'm gonna do the same for the three others so here and here so here medium and here I'm gonna add large so now if I came here and now I try I try to click nothing happened because my own click here is only a props it's not something I click so I need to pass this props so what I'm gonna do it's here I'm gonna pass my own clicks props so here in my div I'm gonna do on click and I'm gonna pass on clicks so now if you look what's gonna happen now I can oh, now I can click 
medium, large, small. So if you follow what I just did right there, right now, everything is fully reusable, uh, reusable, reusable. So now my on click gonna be what I use. So if I want to be on click where I push in other route, I can. Now look at that, I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna import browser history coming from React Router. And here, this one, the small one, I'm gonna push browser history. I'm gonna push to uh, login. So my login page. So if I come there, I, I see here, I click my medium, medium, large, this one. Oh, so I'm sorry, something happened. React Router Browser History. Oh, sorry, I didn't add the push. Sorry, live coding. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you. Medium, large, logging. So you see how now I can reuse this button inside another project. I can just copy paste this one. So why I do this is I get a lot of person who didn't really know what it was a children. And I'll make a fully reusable component. Now this button can be inside his own file and I can reuse it. Like I want, they can do what they want, add the color of what they want, and add a three uh, kind of size. So because if I put nothing, gonna be default. So gonna be the small one. So that's why this one have no no size at all. So now another thing I want to show you uh, today. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do. It's in, I'm gonna show you how you can use. Uh, a param coming from the React Router and do something with that really quick. Gonna be really quick, guys. Sorry. So, first thing, I'm gonna delete everything here. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna delete everything. Sorry. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create uh, just fun again. And now I'm gonna just pass. Uh, just fun right there. Just for be sure, I'm gonna just watch if everything's working. Oh, I didn't import component, so a good thing I checked before. <clears throat> so now you're gonna see my new uh, just fun with the only just fun on that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you param inside stuff. So here in my just fun, I'm gonna pass ID and I'm gonna pass uh, like user right there in my road path. Now if I refresh, I'm gonna hit my uh, 404. Because of what? Because my just fun need an ID now and a user. So I'm gonna pass 123 and my name Emmanuel. So if you follow me guys here, I'm sure you understand what happened. It's my 123 is my ID, my Emmanuel is my user now. If I go to React, Dev2, so again, if you didn't have this one, you need this. I'm gonna go to just fun and look here. Inside my params right there, now I have ID, Emmanu uh, ID 123, user Emmanuel. So what you can do with that, you can do a lot of stuff now. Here I can do, I can pass a div with the H1, where I'm gonna do this, that props, that params, that uh, user. And here I'm gonna have ID. So if you look at what's gonna happen, Emmanuel, one, two, three. I'm gonna change that for Joe. You see, Joe, one, two, three. So now you can use your, uh, your parents coming from React Router. And what you can do too, why I show you that, it's here. I'm gonna do a component with mouth. So this is before you, the component mouth finally. Here I'm gonna uh, just do an alert. And here I'm gonna alert my this, that props, that params, that ID. Why I show you that? Because we're gonna use this in the application. Look at that. Now I have my before 
have something in the screen. Look at that. It's white screen right now. But now I have my one, two, three coming from my params, who is coming from my route right there. So what you can do with that, fetch an API. You pass an ID here, you can fetch the API coming from this params. And like I say, if you have React DevTool now, learn how to use it and just check at this. So you just came here and my just fun and look at that. I have a param, I can reuse my ID and my user right now. I can do what I want with that. And this is just crazy. I mean, now I can fetch API and don't care about how I'm gonna pass the ID. I just push to this page with a browser history. And when I came to this page, now I can fetch from this. So I hope guys, you learned something today. I hope everything made sense. If not, just ask me in the comment. I'm gonna pass uh, both uh, what we did today inside the just for fun uh, component. So just go in the description and look for the GitHub repo. And uh, I hope, I really hope you learned something. So if you like this video, just hit like and subscribe if you want some other video. My plan is to show some video after uh, working with the form. So we're gonna use a uh, Redux form and working with the login and the sign up form. After that, my plan should be to show you using Reselect. It's another library. And hope everything makes sense. So have a good night, guys. Bye.